Hello and welcome to another My Education BC Gradebook video tutorial where we're going to look at setup. This is going to be a quick little video. Um, it's not dealing with the gradebook, it's just doing the preferences ahead of time. So if you click on your name here, you hit the drop down, you go to set preferences. This is where you change your uh, password if you need to, uh, put in your security question, and so on and so forth. But if you click on your gradebook, these are the tabs. Now, I'm teaching in School District 48. We're just going to look at what I like to do. Uh, gradebook, I like to have alternate lines because then when you're looking down a line, it, you know, one shaded and the next one not, it's easier to look at. Track administrator updates. That means if my principal comes in and changes a mark on me, I can tell that he or she has done that. Tab direction is down. You can also set tab direction across. Um, if you want to hit tab when you're putting in marks. So you can have one hand on the tab. If you're putting the marks down, you want to set it for down. It's usually what I do. Uh, I enable gradebook features, assignment column order. I like descending because I want the latest assignment to be close to the student's name. All right. And uh, show category names in the headers, show student alerts. So if there's an IEP or there's a medical, it's right on their name. It's nice and easy. Um, anchor the averages and add assignments. Add assignment to all linked classes by default. So when you're linking classes, if you teach two science tens and they're both in the same semester, I would suggest that you link them. And then if you add an assignment, it goes into both. Very, very handy. Um, then I say show unscored and now here's where we've got to do a bit of discussion default weighting type now most of my assignments are very small they're rubric style assign uh, grading so i do a one to five mark on mine so i use categories and assignments now your choices are categories only categories and assignments total points or category total points so the marking for categories only is kind of similar, and I'll discuss that. And then these two are kind of similar. So I'm going to leave mine on categories and assignments, and then I'm just going to pull up this little thing here. When you're dealing with categories and assignments, so within a particular category, so let's say I had a, uh, a category called homework or assignments, and I gave two assignments, one this kid got 8 out of 10, and then the student got 25 out of 100 on the next assignment. When you're in categories and assignments, every assignment counts for exactly the same because the mark is converted to a percent, the mark is converted to a percent, and then you average the percents. Now, because almost all of my marks are out of 5, that's super easy for me. And when you do categories and assignments, if the assignment is you think is worth more, maybe it's taken a whole week, you can multiply the assignment by more. So there's a weighting as well. So you can increase it. So it might be out of five, but you can say times two or times three or times four because it took you four or five days to do it. So that's categories and assignments. Now, as opposed to category total points within a category, again, saying that these are within the same category, we don't convert it to a percent first. These are the percentages they got on the assignments, but what we do is we add the total. 8 plus 25 is 33, and 10 plus 100 is 110. Then we divide, and now this kid has, or the student has, 30%. Huge difference. So be aware of the way you like to do it. So some people who like to make assignments worth more, they make it out of more. Me, when I want it to be worth more, I keep them all out of five, and then I increase the weighting. So that's your choice there. Now let's go back to here. Let's go again to my setup. And then I've got provincial mark scale. I just do provincial mark scale. The number of decimals I want to show uh, in here. I usually don't show decimals. I have whole numbers because I have it out of five. And then cumulative average, I want to check that because I don't want a separate grade for each 
term. So when I start quarter two in my first semester course, if they have one assignment and they bombed on it, even though they had an A all of a sudden, their marks are not going to go way down. It's going to count the same amount as all the other assignments in the first quarter. So I have cumulative average marked. And that's usually the way we do it here in School District 48. Thanks for watching.